Hello, dear friends. Welcome to Pathways of Hope, Daily Gospel Reflections. My name is Aldem Salvania, and let me share with you today's gospel reflection on John 6, 41, 61. <laughs> in this passage, Jesus presents a once-in-a-lifetime offer which everyone badly needs, but sadly, many including many of his disciples, blatantly rejected. Oh no. You see, there are many words and actions of Jesus that are easy to appreciate. And we can even fall in love with him as we recall them, especially that many other faiths also share them too. And topping the list is the golden rule, of which there are versions from other faiths. Also. The teaching on charity, that even if we fail miserably in living up to being charitable, in principle, most level-headed people agree to be charitable. And many agree to the merit of sacrificial love, to give your life so others may live, is what has been heralded as true heroism or martyrdom. Jesus' life and example has endeared him to so many people. But even today, where people are aspiring to be like influencers, that's a big word today, right? Or to hire one. Guess who tops the influencer list? Not in YouTube or social media, not only in the last decade, but who is the ultimate influencer of all time? Aha. Uh -huh. You'll never guess. <laughs> Time Magazine listed the 100 most influential people of all time. And who tops the list? Moving on, WealthyGorilla.com listed the 25 most influential people of all time. And guess again, who tops the list? Ranker.com also has his list of the most influential people of all time. and. Same result. Now, what just changes would be number two down, like in guardian.com, but the same name always comes out on top. Amazing. The irony, my friends, is that in our gospel passage today, Jesus was not vying for the popularity seat. In fact, this passage starts out with his disciples grumbling among themselves something to the effect of how dare this son of Joseph claim to come from heaven. <laughs> That's why I whispered a while ago. And despite all of Jesus' assurance that an explanation of the longed for eternal life that he can give to those who believe in him. And by the way, huh, in this passage alone, he mentions life. And it's related word forms, live, living, etc. A total of 14 times. Despite all that free offer of life and assurance of hope, the passage ends with many of his disciples still grumbling. This is a hard teaching. Who can accept it? Resulting, although beyond this passage already, in many disciples walking away to no longer follow him. How sad. Going back to their former life. Wow. Unfollow. Unfollow. One of the most painful experiences to happen in social media is to be unfriended, disliked, blocked. In fact, I remember one of my colleagues, <laughs> he got blocked by his female friend in Messenger. And my colleague raised hell on her. <laughs> he simply could not take it. <laughs> I'm afraid that on the table of interreligious dialogue where different faiths gather, this gospel passage on the bread of life will not be discussed. In fact, if you try to bring it up, they might unfollow, unfriend, dislike, and block you. Such is the controversial nature of our passage today. Part of me wishes we didn't have to talk about this with people of other faiths. 
And that is, of course, to avoid those painful walkouts. But you know, the bigger part of me knows, and I am fully convinced, that Jesus did not just come here to be a respectable prophet, teacher, and even miracle worker. So many passages discuss how he claims to be much, much more than those. Because if you think about it, the world has enough of those already, right? And yet, none of them, not a single person in history, no matter how respectable, rich, powerful, or skillful, has been able to break through this irreconcilable impasse between, on the one hand, the undying hope that dwells inside every human heart to live on, to live on, despite sickness, despite death, despite accidents, despite violence. And yet, on the other hand, there is the undeniable certainty of death, which puts an abrupt, merciless end to all our progress, our hopes, our aspirations, and dreams. And no one, not Buddha, not Muhammad, certainly not Abraham, nor any of the founders of the world's greatest religions, would dare claim to be the living bread from heaven. <laughs> They're too smart for that. Each of them in their right mind knew it would be lunacy to even try. And for that matter, hmm, not even science, not politics, not medicine, not finance, nor any of our high technological advances has been able to crack the code to the life we so long for. In stark contrast to all of these, all of these futile human pursuits, here we have the bread of life. For whose cause over 70 million people have been recorded in history to have offered their lives, even to the point of death alongside so many more who have also suffered rather than give up their faith and, thankfully, survived. Wow. Many people think, for example, that science and faith are polar opposites, but the fact tells a different tale. According to Wall Street Journal and Wikipedia, there is a huge list of respectable scientists throughout history who openly declare their faith in the bread that alone gives eternal life which for science today is still in the realm of fiction. Search for an ending life. Time magazine acknowledges that the single most powerful figure in all of human history has been Jesus, no one else. No one else life has proven remotely as powerful and enduring as his. Hence someone rightly declared, I am well within the mark when I say that all the armies that ever marched all the navies that ever sailed with their imposing size, speed, and power. All the parliaments that ever sat with enough force to run nations and continents. All the kings that ever reigned, many of whom are obeyed and worshipped as gods. All of them put together, wow, has not impacted human life on earth, nor have any of them been able to fulfill the deepest human longing for eternal life with our loved ones. This is only achieved by this one solitary bread of life. Wow. In gratitude, let's pray together, my dear friends. And let's pray for this bread. Dear Jesus, you told us that to eat of this bread means to believe with all our mind, our heart, our body and soul that you alone, the way, the truth, and the life. And as we freely and lovingly submit to your will, even though we die, we know that we live forever with you. Thank you for giving us hope in these dark times. Hope for our loved ones that we have lost. And hope for us that when we die, eternal joy awaits us in you. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, thank you so much for the time. And if you have been blessed 
by this reflection, please don't forget to share with others. God bless you all and keep receiving in your life the bread that gives life to the whole world and to you and me. Bye-bye. God bless.